What is up, Game Squad? It's time for a 30 minute Star Fox strength workout. Come on, Game Squad! Hope you're ready for 30 minutes of the Star Fox workout today. We're focusing on strength. Everything's gonna be body weight. We're gonna give you all the tools that you need to start building strength, maintaining strength. Star Fox is one of my favorite games of all time, and strength is a very important part of our overall fitness. We are gonna be doing some floor work today, so if you do have issues with your hands, I want you to warm those up first. We're gonna have all the modifications up here by the Star Fox symbol. We're gonna have all the game references by the hand, Pandross's hand. But before we get started, I got a shame. <laughs> All right, so now that we're ready to work out, we're gonna be doing 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, three times for each exercise. We're gonna warm up, so join me in this X in two, one. Touch your toes, and make Star Fox. <laughs> Way too easy, right? <laughs> but it's important that we warm up our bodies so that we prevent our injuries from ever happening, because when you're injured, you can't train, and if you can't train, you don't make your progress. And that's not what we're about here. At Philly Boom Fitness, you want to stay safe, we do want to get a good workout, and sometimes all you need is just a mat and some space to go. So stand at the edge of your mat, we're going to be build the downward dog. <laughs> so bend on over, hands and feet at the edge of your mat, push into the palm of your hands, Really stretch out those calves, those legs. Come back out. Give me one more good push. There. So we're gonna be doing a lot of floor work today. This down dog is gonna be activating your hands, your wrists, getting them all ready for what we're about to do because we are gonna be doing a lot of pushing motions. If you can't do a push up, that's completely fine. Everything in this is designed to get you to that point. At the very least, always follow the modifications. So, we're being called to, to action. We gotta scramble. So, once you get those high knees up, you want the blood pumping, your body works much better when it's warmer. So, if you wanna get the most out of our workout, we wanna be warmed up, we wanna be stretched out. Whew. I'm gonna be demoing every single workout here at my level. But if you ever need to go one level down, or if you can go one more level up, feel free to do that. Even with this, feel free to just crunch it out. Like so. So our first move, we're gonna start it in 15 seconds. It's gonna be a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Had to start it off that way, right? So I want you to come down. Once you get into a high plank position, and we're just gonna be twisting and lifting one arm at a time. Feel free to go down to your knees if you need to. Two, one. Oh. New barrel roll. You gotta do it, right? Oh, Star Fox. One of my most favorite games of all time. I spent so much time. Every day after school, I used to beat that game. Make sure you're taking a second. And let your arm just hold you there. Three, two, one, that's your first round. We got two more of those, then we go on to the next one. Simple as that. Used to play beat that game every day after school. That was like a ritual in high school. Man, so Russ's enemy is my enemy. Don't mind me, let's come out the workout. All those memories I'm unlocking as I go through all the film footage and stuff, just thinking about it. Two, one, and rest. One more of those. Never give up. Trust your instincts. That's a good one. I'm on six with you. One more round. Three. So I'm going to take you through some of the basics first. It's important in game design to teach your players how to play. That's what the first level is usually about. First level, if it incorporates a tutorial just like Star Fox does, 
That's what Peppy's always telling you how to do these things. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm here to guide you. Two, one, and rest. So we're gonna be doing a break. So we're gonna be going into that down dog position, but we're gonna start at the plank and push up. Nice, slow, and controlled. Two, one, up, back. You should be feeling it in your shoulders by now. We're waking them up. We're getting them ready for the work. If you are having difficulty with this, you can feel free to push back if that's easier. Or you can just go into a child's pose and then put the weight down on to your arms from there. Five seconds, come on. Give me one more good one. Two, one, rest. You got an enemy on your tail. <laughs> yeah. All the things that stick with us. Three, two, one, and break. I always thought it was weird that the break used energy, like this, the boost. I feel like it should be easier to stop. It should be something else, or it goes in the front, I don't know. I'm just rambling about Star Fox. <laughs> Sometimes the best way to get the workout is to kind of zone out. And just let the time pass. Kind of like a meditation. For me, I'm just rambling. Two, one, and rest. One more of those. And then we're just going to be doing R and Z. We're gonna <laughs> or Z, I know a lot of you Brits call it, <laughs> call it Z. <laughs> I just started put crossing a line through my Z so it didn't look like a two. Two, one, up, and down. So if you're this far into the video, I want to commend you for giving it your all. And I want you to let all the gamers know in your life that we can be healthy and we can still have fun. That's what Philly Good Fitness is all about. Sometimes I just ramble, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just me and no music. A little picking up the soundtrack stuff. So two, one, and down. So for this one, I want you to lean a little bit more forward. This is gonna be a tricep push-up. You're gonna be using your abs and your other arm to kind of help you push yourself up off the ground. Two, one, just give it a shot. Don't lean it on your hip directly. Move it a little bit forward. It's almost like you're doing a one-arm push-up. Really focus this tricep. Feel free to support yourself with the other arm as you're going up and down. Do this at your level, whatever that looks like to you right now. We're training to get a nice foundation. All the basics are very important. Two, one, I'm gonna switch sides. I'm not just gonna do that a bunch of times. <laughs> That'd be too boring. It's gotta be fun. So, three, two, one, push it up, and down. This is one of them that it's okay to cheat a little bit as long as you're feeling that burn, feeling the work in that tricep. You might be feeling it in your chest too. They work together as a group, a group of muscles. Just like Star Fox. They're a group. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not even gonna try this. <laughs> I'm gonna just mess it up. Two, one, and rest. Check out that arm. Now we're gonna do them at the same time. You know, if you hit Star Fox and you press L and R at the same time, nothing happens. You just kind of stay forward. I want you to just do a Cobra push up. Two, one, and push, and down. Really focus those triceps as you're pushing. Then fold in, arms beneath your shoulders, hands beneath your shoulders. Up and down. You may not be sweating as much by this point as in other videos, and that's because we're focusing on our muscles, our muscular strength, and not our cardio strength. Two, one. Great job. Whew. Now we're gonna use the boost to get through. We're gonna work our legs a little bit, give our arms a bit of a break. We just did three exercises with them. We're gonna squat down. And use the boost. Two, one, down, up. 
Breathe out as you come up. We still got those arms involved. Restricting the blood flow as we raise them above our heads. Do these presses. So this is going to be full body. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know. I have five seconds. Two. One more. Come on. Boom. Two more of those. I was playing Star Fox last night, getting some footage. And I'm just, I was using the boost just to like get through each mission. Two, one, go. Because there was very specific parts that I wanted to get. And I ended up just crashing into a whole bunch of stuff because the game is so scripted. But your life isn't scripted. But planning it surely does help fitness fit into it. Diet and exercise, that stuff all needs to be planned. You can't just come in willy-nilly all the time. Yeah, you can throw on a video, but it's not the same. Two, one. It's not the same as blocking out 30 minutes to work. You know, you can't just be like, oh, I'm just gonna do one real quick. It doesn't always work like that. Shake out those arms, shake out those legs. Two, one, down. Up. If you can't do a full squat, I want you to find the wall, lean towards it, and press as you're going. If you want to get the back involved, feel free to pinch those shoulders on your way down, and then up. Five seconds. You can do that. Two, one, and rest. I'm feeling it. So now we're gonna shoot off the bomb. <laughs> Squat narrow to the star. It's like the bottom makes that big explosion. Two, one. Feel free to jump. Or you can step in and step out. You're gonna feel this in your glutes primarily. Get those arms going too. That's what's raising the blood, I mean uh, heart rate. I don't always jump in these because it makes a lot of noise in the room. Try to land. It's nice and soft. But if you're on the ground floor, feel free to get some height and rest. Whew. I hope you're having fun because I'm kind of having fun right now. <laughs> Five seconds, back into the bomb. Two, one. <laughs> it's like sounds only gamers can hear or something. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Five seconds. You now 15 seconds. Don't be afraid to take a second. Go right back in. That's only if you have to though. Two, one, go. I mean rest, sorry. <laughs> one more. Just breathe. Go back in three, two, one. Squat down narrow. Out. Make that star. <laughs> a lot of a lot of moves with body weight. The word star. So this one was actually a little bit harder to name a lot of these moves. Whew. How you doing? I'm fine. You okay over there, Fox? <laughs> Three, two, one, and rest. Come on down to the ground. Now we're gonna try a somersault. I want you to lay down, keep your shoulders up, and lift those legs. Two, one, go. This is happening really fast, I understand. So if you need to pause the video, Take a second, you're more than welcome to. These workouts work best when you just do it straight through as much as you can. But I understand that not everybody has the ability at their, this point in their life to, to perform just like you see everything. Two, one, and rest.
We never want to discourage anybody from their own ability, whatever their 100% is, as long as they're putting it in. I want you to congratulate them. I want you to pick those people up. Back down in two, one, shoulders up, legs up. Point them towards the ceiling if you can. I've only recently been able to do that. And I've been training for two years at home. So these things certainly take time. The good thing is you started today, or you're continuing your journey. All those hours add up. As long as you're consistent, they count. Two, one, and rest. Cool. Don't be afraid to just modify this. If you just want to do sit-ups, working your abs, working your core, that's fine. Just trying to show you what I can do. I want you to do what you can do. Two, one, go. Probably said that a bunch of times. You know what I haven't said though? Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment down below with your favorite move. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that in the middle of the video. Bring in those knees. If you can't point your feet or don't have the flexibility, you just crunch them in. Four seconds, give me one. Ooh, two, one, rest. Very good. That was the somersault. We're gonna go into the Blue Marine. It's one of my favorites. I think there's only one level in Star Fox 64. I haven't played Star Fox Zero yet. But give me a Superman in two, one, go. Kick those legs, cause some instability. Really flex that back, like that. Push out your arms, go for an actual swim. As long as you're holding this up, glutes up, or flexing, legs are up, arms are not touching. You got five seconds. Stretch them out and you'll find it gets harder. Two, one, rest. Was it in? I don't know. It wasn't Aquas. I don't know. It's the one year in summer you get unlimited bombs. I've never. That was so fun. Two, one, back at it. If you really want to work out your back, I know it can be tough if you don't have like a pull up bar or something, but this is a good way. Anytime you're doing an opposite of a push, you're pulling. These are your muscles that pull. Really contract them. You can just pulse these right here, and you'll definitely see some development. You have 15 seconds. All we want is to develop that foundation. Some people can't get to the gym yet. We want to give them the tools to get to there. Two, one, and rest. I might have kept you an extra 15 with that, but. Sometimes our mistakes lead to something better. And if it makes you stronger, then it's not exactly a mistake anymore, is it? It's a mistake. Two, one, back! That's <laughs> a little high in his mouth. <laughs> that's not even. <laughs> oh, I'm getting them all mixed up. I'm not even. <laughs> Well, 10 seconds. Whew. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Two, one, rest. Ah, very good. So now we're gonna get into the Landmaster, and these are gonna be a traditional push-up. If you can't do a push-up, you do a knee push-up, like this. If you can't do that, I want you to just hold your plank. Two, one. You got 30 seconds, try and touch your chest all the way down. Hands right beneath your shoulders. See if you can give me two more in these 15 seconds. Slow and control. It's way more important than volume. So you're just blasting them up and down, okay? Slow and control. Two, one, and rest. So we do have two more rounds of push-ups. I know these are very difficult for a lot of people. I know somebody who's been working on it for two years, they still have not done it. They're still on the floor on their knees. That's fine. What, what motivates me is that I see them trying every single time. Two, one. 
Just like this. Pushing from the knees. And developing what you can so that one day you can get to one push-up. And then when you get to one, you can do two. And then it goes on and on. And as long as you keep challenging yourself, it doesn't get easier. <laughs> two, one, and rest. Whew. You know what might be good is doing those cobra push-ups again. And do another three rounds of those. If you can't do, do a full push-up, or just hold the negatives. Two, one. A negative would just be starting here, then slowly bring yourself down, controlled. When you get down, blast yourself up, and go again. I didn't mean to use the word blast, but it's very fitting for Star Fox, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, five seconds. Can you give me one more? In three, two, one, and a rest. I'm gonna give these arms a break. We're gonna work on the legs again. So in Star Fox 2, which I still have not played, and in Star Fox Zero, you got the walker. This thing looks so cool. And I know a lot of people like it. So when you keep your arms up, you give me a squat walk. Two, one. It's called a duck walk. And <laughs> notice when he falls down, there's like a little flap like a, like a bird. That was adorable, like a little chicken. And that's what gave me the idea for the duck walk. So if you can't be doing these walks, feel free to just give me a lunge. Nice and easy. Work on one leg at a time. Two, one. Rest. These ones definitely get your heart going a little bit more. Revolving everything at once. Deep breath. Down in two, one. That squat. Find your center, give me a couple steps forward, and a couple steps back. Try and plant the foot as you're stepping. No, it can be easy to go on your tippy toes, try not to. Try and sit it back into your glutes. Feel it in the quads. Five seconds. Two, one, four. You're becoming more like your father. It's not always good for people. <laughs> Maybe we just don't say that. Maybe we just leave it in. I don't know. Back down for the walkers in two, one. Keeping your arms up for this and the duration. For me, it helps remind myself to sit up forward instead of hunching back and walking. But it also works our shoulders and our arms. We're giving them a kind of a break, you know? It's not a full break. Less than 10 seconds. You can do this. Two, one, ah! Great job. Whew. Ooh, one more of those. I think. I wish I had somebody crossing these out as I went. We're gonna do it again regardless. Two, one, now. And go. Ooh. Well, my friend on Twitter, they voted to have one extra exercise in this. So they're the ones to blame why there's only 15 seconds between sets. So follow me on Twitter. Be part of it there. And maybe I'll listen to you. <laughs> Two, one. Ah. Going back down to the ground. We're almost done. Three exercises left. This one, you know I never forgot about Star Fox Adventures. We're gonna be tricky. So come to your high plank. Give me some climbers, the way that he walks. Two, one, go. I remember playing Star Fox Adventure. Bought it from Blockbuster. I thought it was the greatest thing, and then we get into a dinosaur planet, I'm like, what is this, Zelda? <laughs> like, that was a crazy game. Pick it up if you can. Three, two, one, and rest. Can't say 
I can say I had fun. I had fun with that game. So much so that I remembered it when making this video. <laughs> I remember playing with ball with the tricky, it was like my, my dog. Two, one, go. Ooh. And the Scottish or the Irish guy that worked you? What was that about? What was that about? Come on. If you can't give me these, I just want you to hold that plank or come down to your arms. Just give me some pumps. Those legs. Or hold this plank for two, one, and drop it. I'm sure your arms are really feeling that burn, holding you up. Your core, your co everything is probably firing. That's good. That's what we want. Two, one, go. They say no pain, no gain. But we're, it should be, it's just like, feel the burn. This is a good one. So we don't want to be in pain. We want to be aware of those sensations in our body. The burning sensations, to be honest. When we're working hard. Because when you're feeling that, then you're making progress. Two, one. So, made it to Andros. He's got those two hands. He's swatting you. So, I want you to do what's called a commando. Get to that high plank, come down in two, one, one arm at a time, one hand at a time. That was the whole idea. Again, come down to your knees. If you're having difficulty with this, if you have problems with your hands, I know it can be very hard to work your arms, but I would, be, I would love to hear your workarounds for these. Sometimes you need special equipment to do it. You have less than 15 seconds. Switch arms every time you come down. Push it up and then switch. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! You're doing great. This is the Battle of Andras. So you can't give up now. You can't give up now. Two. One, up. Someone wants to play. Oh, Gleendra! <laughs> this game is ridiculous. We got this. You got less than, you got five seconds. Two. One, and rest. Almost done, one more round of that. And then we have our final mission. Whew. Three, two, one. Legs up, down, down, up, push, and up. Got that? Sweet it up. Speed can be your best friend when you hit a wall on something. Sometimes all you gotta do is just do it faster. Come on, five seconds. Two, one, and it's not burpees. Go into all range mode. So just like the arm wing, I want you to spread your wings. Come to that squat. You raise your hands. Two. One. Two. I'm going to crush you. Ah, I'm feeling it in my shoulder big time. Gonna shake them out. One squat without. One squat with. Those who cross and drop will go. We're back into it. You never give up. It's the important thing is we don't give up. Three, two, Aim one. Back. Ah. Flying. <laughs> Three, two, one. Arms out. Squat down. Lift them up. 
You might find yourself using different muscles now, it's pinching your back just to overcome the weight of your own arms. This is fine. We're trying to exhaust muscles to make other ones kick in and help out. Sound like the bomb. <laughs> Wait, breath. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Ah. And rest. I'm going to be a lot more forgiving on this squat. You can take a wide stance if that's what you're comfortable with. The main thing is you're moving your whole body as we do this. We're almost finished. Two, one, down. Oh. Last one. Try and see if you can hold it the whole time. You want to make it harder on your arms? Nice. Squat down now. Pulse. It always be harder. <sighs> Come on. Five seconds. Don't give up. Two. One. <sighs> you made it to the cool down. This is the part of the workout where we will lower our heart rate. Get your breath. Everything is over. We want to bring our back body back to normal. Some people might say homeostasis. So just come on down to your hands and knees. We're coming to the great box position. Just give me a couple breaths. Arch your back when you inhale. And exhale. Some people do it the opposite way. I've never understood the difference, personally. But I do want to congratulate you for making it to the end of this workout. I know it can be very tough to find some time in our days. Come on up to your feet. It's hard to find time in our days just to focus on ourselves. We should do the Falco's laser. We want to stretch out those shoulders that worked hard today. If you haven't already, why don't you give the video a like, subscribe for more. I want to have enough videos at this point for an entire one month program. Switch your arms. So five days a week, you can tune into Philly Boom Fitness and start your fitness journey there. This is just only the first one. I'm gonna be making these as long as, that I can, as I can to inspire the most amount of gamers to participate. Now stand at attention like General Pepper. <laughs> Grab your arms behind and stretch out that chest. You can feel free to flex your back or just reach your arms down. I really just wanted to focus on the arms today because I know we did a lot of work. But the more fun that I make this for you guys, the more likely you are to keep doing it. So that's why the comments that I see, they really drive me to keep doing this. They make me excited for when people have ideas that they want to see, things that I've never thought of. And just stretch out your wrists now. I'm all out of references at this point, but I just I do want to take care of you. So your comments get read, they get liked. I love seeing them. It makes me feel on top of the world every time I see somebody say this is the funnest thing I've ever done, or even when they say this is so stupid, why did you do it? Because <laughs> I know it's stupid too. Whew. But from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for joining us here at Philly Moon Fitness, and I'll see you next time.